Why do we settle for less in a relationship? Why does it feel like you're compromising your values? Why do we lose our self-respect and our self-worth to find our ideal partners? Today I'll share with you why I think we settle for less. How to know that you're settling for less because sometimes we don't even know we are. And ways to stop settling for less because trust me, you deserve much, much more. Hello, welcome to another episode of Thy Truth. Finding your truth with Ifemena. Why do we truly settle for less in a relationship? Is it the fear? The fear of being alone? Not having someone to talk to? Not having someone to share your thoughts and intimate wants and desires with? Is it the fear of starting a new relationship, going through that whole roller coaster of emotions? Is it you don't think you'll find someone better? You know, I've heard people say that the devil you know better than the angel you don't know, so they'd rather stay with the devil. Or you feel, hey, I've invested so much time, I've invested so much energy energy so much money into this relationship so I can't give up now so pretty much your your relationship's duration is an investment that you don't want to lose no doubt it I know it's hard it's hard to walk out of any relationship whether you've been together for two eight twenty years or more the question is how long Will you keep resenting yourself, resenting the person and being unhappy before it implodes? Are you settling because society, you know, the culture, friends, family expect you to have, they expect you to accept your relationship? You feel pressured even when you're unhappy? Or is it simply because you lack self-love or self-esteem. You need to understand why you're settling. Now, how, how do you know that you're even in a relationship where you're settling? How do you know you're settling for less in a relationship? That relationship or the relationship brings you down. Your partner always brings you down. You're in in an emotionally and physically abusive relationship. They cheat on you repeatedly. You find yourself pleasing or or trying to accommodate their needs, your desires, their expectations while they don't reciprocate the feeling. They don't show it back to you. They don't care about your own needs. They don't care about your desires. That's how you know you're settling for less. So now you've asked yourself why you settle and you know how you're settling for less. So what do you do to stop settling? How do you stop settling for less in a relationship? Number one, accepting only quality communication. I mean, if we can't truly communicate and I don't, and I'm not talking vaguely, communication or communicating vaguely but there is no point if we can't have you know quality communication if we can't communicate properly if I can't discuss what hurts me or you can't tell me what hurts you then I mean it's you ask yourself is is it worth it How else can you stop settling for less? Number two, setting strict boundaries. Being assertive with what is okay, what you you think is okay, what is not okay. Be assertive. Number three, understanding it's okay to want more. Because you deserve more. Don't limit your wants or or what what you feel is best for you because... Your partner can't give it to you. 
understand it's okay to want it, to want more. Number four, avoid making excuses. If you put your needs before yours all the time and you enable their bad behaviors or the way they treat you, you're not helping. So stop making excuses for them. Don't settle. Number five, stop giving 100% while they give little or nothing. It means they don't value you. They don't care. Number six, express your deal breakers. Everyone has a deal breaker. I have a deal breaker. Walk away when they break it. That's it. Number seven, stop wasting time trying to change them. Telling yourself or torturing yourself with what you could do to, you know, what what you could do to change them or what what else you could do to change them or to rectify um, whatever is going on in your relationship is a waste of time. You can't change them. Instead, ask yourself, what if this never changes? Because most time it, it doesn't. Number eight, self-love. Practice self-love. As cliche as this might sound, if you're unable to love yourself, which is why we end up you know, in unhealthy relationships, if you can't love yourself, it's going to be hard to accept someone else's love. And that's the truth. Number nine, accept that being single is okay. Understand that you can live your most meaningful, your most fulfilling or fulfilled and happy life on your own. If you think you can only do this while in a relationship, you will constantly settle. You will continue to settle for less. Now I know, as I said before, ending any sort of unhealthy relationship takes a lot of bravery. It's it's hard, I know that. I can absolutely relate with that. If you find it difficult to see what you truly deserve, then it's time to pause. If you're lucky enough to have people who care about you, they can pro- probably see something you can't see for yourself. Listen to them. You deserve much, much more. And hopefully you learn to love yourself as I am learning to love myself. Thanks for listening. Meet you again at another episode of Die True. Finding your truth with Ifemina.